Well, good morning, Bramley Alliance Church family. Hey, thanks for coming to church today. Those of you who are joining us online, thanks for tuning in today as well. Hey, and before I say anything, well, I should probably tell you, uh, I'm Scott Finnamore. I'm the lead pastor here at the church doing the announcements today. But I just got to start off with saying a big thank you to all of you who helped out with the senior high grad banquet last night. There were a lot of moving parts from the amazing prime rib dinner to the honoring of our grads, uh, the gifts of uh, the Bibles that we gave them, to the speakers, to the after grad, to the cleanup, and oh my goodness, there was so much going on uh, to help us honor our grade 12 grads. So thank you to all of you who were a part of that last night. We so appreciate that. And uh, I just wanna make you aware that if you are new, we would love to respond to your visit here with us today. And, and so just ahead of you on the back of the seat is a light blue card. It's our connections card. And we'd like to encourage you to fill that out and put it in the offering box as you leave this morning. And we would love to respond to your visit here with us. And if there's information you want about our church, uh, what's going on, different programs, that sort of thing, put a check mark beside what you'd like to get and we'll get that to you this week. So why don't you just take a moment and do that now. And as you're doing that, uh, just a few more things. Tonight, we have another praise night. That's right, a praise night. We're gonna to come together at 6.30. We're gonna meet in the welcome hall and we are gonna lift our voices to glorify God. Uh, I'm so excited about this night. It's gonna be great. I've only ever missed one of them, and, but I'm gonna be here tonight and it's just gonna be wonderful as uh, Catherine Quinn and Margaret Morton uh, give leadership to this. And it's actually Margaret's last night. Many of you know that the Mortons are moving away. So you might wanna come out and uh, kind of support them in the last, um, praise night that Margaret will be playing the piano for us for, but it's going to be a really good night. Hey, also uh, make you aware that we have our free clothing give uh, that is coming June 20 to 24. And uh, that's just a wonderful outreach that we do um, to our community. And there's a lot of work that goes into that as well. I'm so thankful for our summer staff that is helping out with that and putting that together as well as many volunteers. And I know that we are gonna need people through that time period to help uh, just kind of run the whole free clothing give. So if you'd like to be involved, talk to Julie Crawford about that. But next Saturday, we have our final men's breakfast of the season. Uh, Dave Mills, who is one of our elders, is going to be speaking at that. So guys, that is at 8.30 on Saturday morning in the Welcome Hall. And it's an amazing meal and it'll be a great message as well as a great time of just hanging out with one another. And we're always done by 10 a.m. So 8.30 to 10 a.m. So I hope to see you guys there. I also wanna make you aware that on June 27th, that's a Monday night, we are having our farewell for Steve and Debbie McDonald. As Steve, as many of you know, has been our wonderful associate pastor for the last seven years and is retiring. And so we are gonna have a farewell evening for him. That'll be Monday, June 27th, 7 p.m. in the Welcome Hall. And you wanna be there for that. Um, it's gonna be a fun night as we say goodbye to Steve. Um, even though it's really sad, it's still gonna be a fun night for us to uh, be with him and his family. Also, let me remind you, directories are done and you can pick one up for your family. Uh, this is an awesome labor of love. Uh, and uh, I'm so thankful for Michelle and Tracy and others who helped put that together. So grab one before you go today. And I, just some exciting news. We did extend a call to come and be our new youth pastor uh, to Evan Williams uh, last week, of which he excitedly received. And so please be in prayer for just the timeline. Uh, they gotta find a place to live and so um, and try to get here. We're hoping that will happen before the end of July, but we need to be praying that uh, everything goes smoothly and they can find a, a good place to live uh, for uh, Avery, their son Blake, as they come to serve as our new youth pastor. So we're excitingly looking forward to that. And this morning, I am so pleased that uh, Larry Keen, who uh, is an author and he has been an elder and is letting his name stand to be an elder again in our church, is going to be bringing the word of God to us today. So I'm excited to hear what 
the Lord has laid on Larry's heart. And just uh, to make you aware, we are having community today. So if you haven't got your little cup yet here in the service, please make sure you get one of those. And for those of you at home, you wanna have some elements ready so that you can participate as we have community today. So we are now going to enter into worship. And again, it is so good to come together as God's family and worship him. Let's go into worship now. <laughs> 